Hi, this is Bob Kutchball, owner and broker of Carlton Realty, and today we're going to talk about termites, specifically subterranean termites, which are found in Ohio and throughout the Midwest. Subterranean termites live in colonies below ground and are more active during the summer months. Um, they can still be active in the winter and colder months, but they tend to not have as much activity. They love to burrow into wet or deteriorating wood. And so th today we're going to actually look at some termite damage. An approximate 600,000 homes in the United States are affected by termites every year with $5 billion worth of uh, cost to Americans in either treatment or repair of damage. So today we're going to look at several instances of termite damage. And the first one we're going to look at is right here. You will notice how the wood is deteriorating, how you actually can see tunnels running through the wood. So the first sign of termites is actual tunnels running through the wood. It is like they eat down the grain of the wood. So it doesn't destroy all the wood, it just puts holes through the wood and of course uh, reduces its ability to hold weight. In this house, we find the damage in the sill plate, which is the plate above the foundation and below the framing, and the band board. The band board is the board that comes across um, the, uh, on the exterior wall of the house. Let me show you some additional evidence of termites. We can see them up here, and if you'll notice, there is a line coming down the wood, all right? This is where a former termite tunnel was. Subterranean termites build mud tunnels over hard surfaces, even over concrete or stone. So here is where they've built a mud tunnel that has been eliminated. That would be evidence. Here you can see some termite damage, again, in the sill plate, and here is termite damage in the band board, okay? The last board in the foundation that sits on top of the sill plate. There is some obvious termite damage here. Also behind me, you can see some termite damage again in the sill plate. Now again, termites come in in damp wood, and so if this is damp, if there's moisture coming in, either from improper gutters or from landscaping, being too close to the house, then that's how they get in. And then they tunnel to other areas where they want to go. These are termite tunnels. Now most termite tunnels come from below or come in through the wall. So if there's a crack in the wall, they could come in or they could burrow up from underground. Um, many people think the termite tunnel is coming down, which is possible, but most termite tunnels burrow up. Now, termites are attracted to any damp wood. So one of the things a homeowner should be careful about is not putting a wood pile near the foundation of their home. Virtually any wood pile that has sat there for a couple years, you can go to the bottom piece of wood, pick it up, and you will find termites. Termites can actually migrate from house to house. These termite tunnels can be vast in size and length. So when one house gets termites, it is quite possible for that termite tunnel to tunnel to the next house and uh, infest that house. So if there's termites in an, in an area, it actually is a good idea to have it treated, your house treated as a way to prevent the termites from actually doing damage in your house. Thanks for watching. If we can be of help, call Carlton Realty at 614-891-0000 or visit us online at carltonrealty.com. Click subscribe so that you'll be notified when new videos come out.